the weekend's coming up. Guys, Father's Day. Father's Day, Sunday, yeah? Father's Day, which means millions of dads are going to be taken out to brunch by the most important people in their lives, even though they'd much rather they all go and the dad can just stay home and play FIFA on their Xbox. <laughs> Ian, what kind of gift are we splashing out this year on Ivan? Come on, you got the money rolling in now? He, I can't say what I got him this year because he watches the show, but traditionally, the more the book is about war, the more he's going to like it. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Just the, it's, as long as people were killed in the name of something and there's a black and white picture on the cover of somebody having a bad time, he's in. I didn't realize how similar Ivan was to Louis Weymouth. Yeah. You know, all Louis did at my wedding was walk up to people and go, what's your favorite war? <laughs> Guillermo, it's your first Father's Day. Oh. Yeah. First Father's Day. Any plans? Probably a little chilling and grilling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a beat. <laughs> it's just the sheer mention of a grill. Pete went, <laughs> yay! Oh. It's, the, it's the chilling part, too. You gotta have both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilling, grilling and, grilling. and chilling. That's it. That's what you're gonna do. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure on your partner. Because the kid didn't really get you the gift. I don't know if, <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. know if you know that. I wasn't clear on that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nalo wasn't like... Nalo's not in the Grove right now on her own, like... <laughs> I think he plays the drums? <laughs> yeah, a lot of pressure. But you know what we're going to be doing? You know, I'm, do you know what my father... You know what I asked for my Father's Day? Uh, Jules, my wife, said, Look, well, is there anything you want, anything you need? I said, all I need is a few hours on Sunday just to catch up on part two of Nick's podcast interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want. Just two hours alone. Just listen, just to, to really drink in the whole thing in. But this, it's out now, right, Nick? It is out now. It's you out, know and it. you, you do, uh, Kate, big surprise, you do mention the show, and you're very, very lovely about all of us. Thanks. So, Why is that a surprise? You. Sorry? Why it shouldn't be a surprise that I say lovely things about you. I love this show, and I used to, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to think we were very close, and then I've been ripped to shreds oh. over and over again on this show. Don't and now do I this. Wonder. Don't start trying to make yourself out to be some kind of victim down here. <laughs> there is no other workplace where the more you're roasted, the more you're loved. I, I think that's true, and I really do appreciate it. Most of the time. <laughs> Um, have you had a good reaction from the, from part two? Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, because, yes, I have, and then uh, not, not from people here. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting. Um, but, yes, the uh, people seem to be really interested in uh, how this show came about, and uh, I'm but one way they can find that out. Yeah. Well, I think it's lovely. And I love you. I do. <laughs> I, I also, I really, I, I really do love you all. I do. I'll often send you, whenever you've been on camera, I'll always send an email afterwards being like, that was so funny, I love you so much. Yeah, you did that once. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you want? <laughs> How many emails have you got, Ian? Not a one. There you go. OK. And he's funny every night. You're like... <laughs> Well, look, we'd love nothing more than to focus on Nick for the entire hour. You're obsessed with me. <laughs> <laughs> I might be. I might be. But America wants, nay, demands the news. You want to try one more? <laughs> Think you can get it? Well, I mean, 50-50, yeah. We'll try. <laughs> America wants, nay demands, the news. Nice. And the big news. 
The big news out west is the sweltering heat. California, Nevada, Utah and Arizona are all experiencing heat waves right now, with Death Valley, California, even hitting 129 degrees today. Yeah, 120... Look, it's called Death Valley. It's not called nice, beautiful day to play Frisbee Valley, you know? <laughs> But my mum must have, my mum saw this news story. She called me. She was like, are you staying cool? Are you hydrating? <laughs> it's 129 degrees in Death Valley. And I was like, mum, I don't even know where Death Valley is. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I thought it was near you. Did you hear? Bev's getting divorced again. <laughs> <laughs> the meteorologists are calling this the biggest heat wave of the year so far, but, quote, Still not as hot as Benefer getting back together. <laughs> Moving on, you remember a couple of months ago when we said that there was a, uh, a survey that said 46% of Americans want Dwayne The Rock Johnson to run for president? Well, in a new interview, The Rock said that he doesn't, quote, have the patience to deal with the BS that comes with politics. The Rock got his start in wrestling. <laughs> And he thinks that politics is total BS. That's where it's at now. <laughs> Even though nearly half of Americans want The Rock to run for president, he doesn't want to do it. I hate to stir the pot, but... Vin Diesel would never let the American people down like this. <laughs> I'll be honest, I smell what The Rock is cooking, right? And what The Rock is cooking is actually some hard truths about our flawed political system. That's what it is. <laughs> and there's a new discovery to tell you all about. Rare orchids, thought to have been extinct in the United Kingdom since 2009, have just been discovered in a rather unlikely place, on the rooftop of an office building in the financial district of London. Experts say they have no idea how it ended up there. Here's the orchid here. Look at that. Look. That is the most beautiful and delicate flower to come from London since... Why well, are you looking at it? <laughs> the species is known as small-flowered tongue orchids, which is a much hornier name than I was expecting. <laughs> you know? But that's what we're doing. We're talking about a flower on someone's roof. All right? John Oliver will give you your politics. If you want a cute little story you can send to your aunt, this is where you come. Come to Corden. Uh, <laughs> Finally, we wanted to show you this. Speedo has unveiled a futuristic new swimsuit. It's calling the most intelligent swimsuit of all time. Each suit uses energy harvesting fabric as well as a built-in AI coach. Here it is here. Look at that. It makes you look like a superhero whose superpower is causing people to avoid eye contact with you. <laughs> I might actually, I'm genuinely thinking of getting one of these for summer. I really am. See what, see what a built-in AI coach has to say about me standing in the shallow end drinking a margarita. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the suit comes complete with microsensors to monitor oxygen saturation and hydration levels, which all sounds pretty fancy for something you're just ultimately going to end up peeing inside of. <laughs> And that... That's the news. <laughs>